What's going on everybody? Welcome to part nine of our open CV with Python tutorial series. In this part, what we're gonna be talking about is using morphological transformations to remove white noise or just noise in general from your filters or whatever else. So, um, so far we've got something that's filtering basically for the red hat that I have on. Uh, and uh, we, we, we did the blurs in the previous tutorial, but now we're in time on morphological transformation. So actually the only thing that I'm gonna retain here to show at least is the frame and the result. And then I'm gonna remove these things here and then basically remove all of this, okay? So we're starting with some code. If you don't have this code for whatever reason, uh, all these tutorials are posted on pythonprogramming.net head there and grab this stuff. So it'll be in the data analysis tab. So um, so anyways, here's our starting point. And let's go ahead and just run that real quick just to show you guys. Obviously, if you're probably not gonna have a red hat. So use whatever object you happen to have. I've got a red hat and so that's what we're filtering for. But as you can see, there's noise in the hat and there's noise behind me in that bookshelf is causing some noise. So uh, let's close this and go ahead and get started. So there are multiple different types of morphological transformations. The first two that we're gonna cover, we're gonna kind of cover these in pairs. Uh, the first two is gonna be erosion and dilation. So what erosion is gonna do is it's gonna go around everything and basically it's gonna keep, it's got this little slider that you decide what size the slider is and it slides it around and if all the pixels in the area are identical color, then great, it moves on. But if there's any color, or if there's any pixel in that little slide that is not of the same color as all the, all the others. So let's say every color is a zero except for one one. So everything's black except for one white pixel. Well, it's gonna remove uh, that white pixel. So it goes around and it just erodes away. And then you've got dilation that basically does the opposite. So instead of eroding away, it pushes out until it can't push out any further. So um, so let's go ahead and show uh, an example. So underneath this mask and res definition, we're gonna say our kernel is gonna be equal to np.1, so numpy ones. These will be a five by five. You could use a different size if you want. And then the data type is a numpy uint eight. Now, um, we're gonna specify erosion as being equal to cv2.erode. We're gonna erode using the, uh, the mask part. Uh, just simply, we, we could erode on the, the result. Uh, well, not really, not very well. So anyway, um, we, we, we could eventually return back to color though, but just for the, this is just purely to show you how erosion works. If you wanted to return back to color, you would use a bitwise operation just like this, where mask is equal to erosion instead of mask, okay? Anyway, erode, uh, mask, the kernel is our kernel, and the iterations uh, will be one. Uh, basically the exact same thing is gonna happen for uh, dilation, whoops. So erosion, dilation, cv2 dot dilate. And then let's take this, actually let's just take one. Uh, and then paste, paste, and then we'll say erosion is equal to erosion and dilation is equal to dilation. <clears throat> Great. So here should be relatively um, simple to see what's going on. So, um, so in this case, in the er case of erosion, I'll just do this so I can look at it and talk at the same time. <laughs> I'm a baller. <laughs> anyway, nerd. Uh, so we've got erosion. You can see that the hat's actually being eroded away a little bit here. And you can see those little black boxes that are continuations of noise are actually um, based on the erosion rather than anything else. And then over here, you've got dilation where you can see actually the, the noise in the background has actually been nothing more than amplified. <laughs> so great. So that's probably not what we really wanted there. So moving along, um, there are two more versions here, uh, or two, well, actually we have four more in total. Um, and there's even more, but they just four more that I'm gonna show or speak of. Uh, the next one is opening and closing. So uh, the goal with opening is to remove false positives, 
okay? So with opening, you're gonna try to remove stuff usually from like the background, basically. And then closing is gonna try to remove false negatives. So uh, let me pull it up real quick. Uh, actually, and explain that a little better. So the false positives are these noises in the background, right? These are false positives. False negatives would be in the hat right now. All these black pixels in my hat, those are false negatives. So, um, so opening is to remove the false positives. So we're gonna say opening is equal to cv2.morphology, capital E, lowercase x. We apply it to the mask, cv2. All caps here, morph underscore open, and we'll use that same kernel that we already defined. Copy that, paste, change this to closing, uh, and then this instead of open, it will be close. And then we'll take these two, copy, paste. Again, if you're experiencing lag or something, feel free to only show like one. You don't have to show all of these. Cool. Okay. Save and run that. And here at, well, let's see. Um, I don't really have space on my screen. <laughs> so here's the result, and I'm trying to find opening and closing. Where is closing? Did I not change it? Maybe I didn't change it. No, here we go. Okay. So opening removed the false positives from the background, right? And we can see that that actually was the case. It appears to have actually significantly, we don't, I don't see any background noise at all. Uh, and then closing removes false positives within the hat itself. Unfortunately, we have this little shark or whatever it is. So it's actually allowing some false negatives to continue along because it's in the way. Uh, we'd probably have better results if I turned it backwards. Um, it's a little better. You can see it's definitely better than both of the original images though. So I suppose it improved. Anyway, um, so that's opening and closing and dilation and erosion. Now there are two more. I'm just gonna copy and paste them from the, um, from the text-based tutorial here and just explain them real quick. So you've got top hat and black hat. So top hat is the difference between your input image and the opening of your image. And then black hat is the difference between the closing of the input image and the input image. Okay. So that's, those are how those work. Now, um, oh, <laughs> we didn't, we didn't actually code the black hat part. <laughs> anyway, um, the result in our case is actually pretty useless. It's just so you can just know those exist. And if that sounds useful to you, like if you're working on a project and you're like, man, I sure wish I could get the difference between the input image and the opening of the image. There you go. You don't actually have to use like a some sort of self-made function or something. I can't think of a time when that was necessary, um, but I'm sure if that exists in OpenCV, there is a need for it. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. Questions, comments below. In the next tutorial, what we're gonna be talking about is gradients and edge detection. So uh, stay tuned for that. Otherwise. Thanks for watching.